Hey, this is Charles Calhoun, a.k.a. The Shade Tree Pro. I hope everybody had a uh, good Easter. But uh, it was nice watching um, Jordan uh, win. I just had a feeling it was coming. And if you pay very close attention to Jordan's swing, you'll notice that foot is not doing that. He's staying in there. See, there's rules to movements. I don't care who you are. I don't care what it is. The human body is the human body, and there's rules to movements. And one action begets a, a different action. That's just how it works. You know, if it goes left, then its reaction is, is usually right, or something of that nature. But there are rules, and you have to follow those rules. Nobody gets, gets past those rules. Feelings are not rules. You have to follow the rules. So that's kind of, you know, where I am now because of the injuries. I had a bad injury to my oblique because there was something that I was doing trying to do athletically that wasn't following the rules. So the rules of movements are the rules of movements. And now that I've got my hip better, now I can finally move over my oblique better, which affects my whole side here, hip and everything, leg, all of it, because it's all a sequence. But like I said, there's rules to so now it makes it a little simpler for me to make a move through the ball when I go to hit it. Because you can't, I mean, you can't get away from the rules. And see how now I can, I can get over a little bit? See, I always was a little stuck back on my side because one, I could hit it that way. Two, it was just... I never really told a lot of people, but, you know, it was just painful for me to get there, but I still wanted to play golf. I had to do it. But once I understood how the anatomical body works, and I understood that movements are movements, and, that's, and, they, and they work for a reason, or their body exists for a reason, then I was able to make a swing that's conducive to that movement. And when we ask questions like, why Mo Norman could hit the ball the way he did consistently or whatever. In my truest opinion or whatever, it wasn't about what he looked like. I think that same action, you don't have to do, you know, Mo Norman's move, quote unquote, to create that type of action. I just think that it is anatomically, the actions are completely in sequence by the rules of motions or how we move. Now, if if science writes it that way, that's fine. But I'm calling them rules because I know what I've been through. So it's just simple. You understand what the rulings are. And I'm telling you, you know, it gets simple. I think about Bruce Liskey a lot. Because like I said, Mo practice all the time. Bruce Liskey didn't practice. But Bruce Liskey created uh, uh, an action. And I am... From my understanding and my learning or whatever, Bruce Liskey's move was in the rule. It was it it reacted to the rules of actions. And he was able to just keep repeating that swing over and over. Because it, whether he knew it or not, it just locked in. And he just, he didn't have to think about anything other than just getting up there and making a swing because the action was gonna take care of itself. And I'm telling you, it has taken me a long time. And I mean a long time. It's, sometimes injuries are a good thing because it, especially in the human body, it tells you when you're doing something right, doing something wrong. And because I'm strong and athletic, that was a move that I could get away with. And I still play really good golf. But the thing is, I wanted to take the stress off of my body. I wanted my, my swing to feel like it just flowed. And I couldn't get it to flow the way that I want it. And why is that important? Because when my swing just naturally continues to flow, then it takes stress off the body and I'm not tired. Here. And when you take stress off the body and you're not tired, your swing will repeat itself. That's what we call getting into the fourth quarter. You know, it's just same old move, but all of a sudden I just follow the rules.
it just repeats itself over and over and over because it's just like a picture it's just like anybody else i mean it's just it's just what the body does and once the body understands what it needs to do you know it'll repeat no different than count yogi or anybody it doesn't matter the golf swing in itself is nothing but a collaboration of movements and those movements have to be in they 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 just they have to be within the defined actions of how or, or how they react to what it is that we're doing whatever the task is whether it's hammering a nail whatever it is it has to react to it and you just cannot make it up and i'll tell you there was something that felt good to me keyword felt good to me but it wasn't inside the rules of how these actions work you all will figure all that stuff out uh, 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 what the rules is it's taken me years to understand it but i got it now but there was something I was doing just because it was athletic and it felt good, but it wasn't the act, the, it didn't follow the rules of how the body actually is supposed to work. One of the biggest things, now one of the biggest things that I, I, I totally eliminated in a sense from my body was the uh, acceleration and deceleration. Uh, that, that right there, that caused more pain to me because people thinking, because it don't follow the rules, People thinking that, you know, when you come in here and all of a sudden this is decelerating and this is accelerating, it's not true. Because it's the difference between a Ferrari and a tractor. As I said, the lower body creates power, the upper body creates speed. So I'm not really decelerating this when I'm coming through. Actually, it's accelerating but it's just going in the opposite direction. So it has to kind of pick up its speed to go this way so I can come around it in a sense instead of spinning out like most people do. So it's not deceleration, it's acceleration and acceleration, but it's different levels of acceleration. So that's one of the biggest things that I finally understood and got it. So I'm not decelerating at any other time other than when it gets to the end, that's on its own, but the shot's gone. But during, through the strike, this is accelerating, but it's moving like a tractor. You're like giving a tractor, like if you put your foot down on a tractor and give it full gas, it's not gonna go fast as a Ferrari, even if they're going in the same direction or opposite directions. It's, it's not gonna do that, you know? It's kind of like, if you got two cars passing, one going down one lane and one going down the other, just because they're going past each other, don't mean the other one's acceler uh, decelerating. So I'm not a fan of deceleration because based on the movements and understanding it, I don't personally think it really exists. It's just, like I said, people's thoughts and feels, and to me it's just feels, and feels are not the rules of motions. And see, and that action just totally, totally keeps repeating itself. It's just... I mean, it's just so simple. Now, one, one of the things is, I'll give you something that I, I do to where I know, instead of, I know where my club is in the backswing. I imagine a clock is behind me and I get this to 11 o'clock. I feel like that's pointing at 11 o'clock. That's pretty much all I really think about in the backswing. I want to feel like that's at 11 o'clock and then I go. And so, uh, and then I can put it anywhere that I want. I know most people like seeing that clock right here and they're going to there. See, I like to see it back behind me that I can put that right there on 11 o'clock and just go. Just like that clock's on the wall. But that's what I feel when I do that. Now you can go look at some of my older videos and you can see the difference of how I said I had injuries, I didn't even want to talk about it, where I couldn't get to where I want, where I, how I wanted through the ball, but I had great arm movement and I could do it. But just by following the rules, that changed quickly, and there it goes. This is Charles Calhoun, AKA the Shade Tree Pro. Get at a try and always good golfing.